Yellowstone Season 4 – 10 Things You Didn't Know About As dysfunctional as they may be, Yellowstone fans can't seem to get enough of the Dutton family. Luckily, Paramount Network is rewarding viewers with Season 4 of the Kevin Costner-led series, though details about upcoming episodes remain hush-hush. That said, we have heard some interesting info about Season 4. Don't forget to watch today's video to the very end to get the full scoop on the 10 things you didn't know about Yellowstone Season 4. Number 10. When is the Yellowstone Season 4 premiere? Paramount Network reassured fans that Season 4 would be worth the wait, and they definitely kept their promise. After months of anticipation, the network confirmed that Yellowstone will return on Sunday, November 7 with two back-to-back -back episodes. Right after the second episode airs, keep watching for a first look at 1883 and Mayor of Kingstown, two brand new shows in the Yellowstone universe that will stream on Paramount Plus later this year. But that's not all, it sounds like Yellowstone will film season 5 later this year. Show creator Taylor Sheridan previously confirmed his plan to write six seasons of Yellowstone and an Instagram post from Chief Joseph Ranch, the real ranch used as a filming location for the show, revealed that cabin rentals are available through the summer since they are still waiting for Paramount Network's 2022 filming schedule. Number 9. How about Season 4 Spoilers? The Season 4 trailer sends an ominous warning, everybody pays. In the trailer below, we catch another glimpse of the Duttons after the attacks before getting a tease of all of the chaos to come, Monica fleeing the ranch in a panic, looks like this fan theory was proven true, Lloyd taking a punch right to the face, a dangerous police chase, protests, and so much more. Wes Bentley, who plays Jamie, is excited to explore more of Jamie's complicated past in Season 4. Where does Jamie end up? I'd like to know, he confesses. I'm also excited to see who he really is because he spent his whole life not really being himself. I think we're starting to get pieces of that now, so I think it's going to be really interesting to see. Hopefully, this means the show will uncover more details about Jamie's history, his pregnant ex-girlfriend for example, Beth's relationship with Rip, and Jimmy's future. Cole Hauser, who plays Rip, has stayed quiet about what's to come on Dutton Ranch, but mentioned to Deadline that everybody's in danger in Montana after the bombshell season 3 finale. Number 8. Will the entire cast return for season 4, including Kevin Costner? Although some fans are concerned that Kelly Riley and Luke Grimes are leaving the show, it seems like the entire Yellowstone crew is on board for the fourth season. Costner, who plays John Dutton and executive produces the show, remains the backbone of the series. In the past, he's said that filming a scripted show hasn't been an easy adjustment for him, but he's committed because he believes Yellowstone has gold dust on it. Unless they decide to write off any characters, it seems like Wes Bentley, Kelly Riley, Luke Grimes, Cole Hauser, Kelly Asbill, Bory J. Smith, and Denim Richards will return for a fourth season too. Only time will tell if newcomers Josh Holloway, John Emmett Tracy, Corianka Kilcher, and Jennifer Landon will survive the chaos on Dutton Family Ranch. Deadline also announced a few exciting additions to the season forecast. Jackie Weaver will play Carlene Warner, the CEO of Market Equities that is trying to crush the hold that John Dutton has on his sprawling Montana ranch. Piper Parabo will play a protester from Portland who is against the state-funded police force that protects industrialized farming and the killing of animals. Catherine Kelly will play a vet tech who strikes up a relationship with the Dutton Ranch cowboy. Finn Little will play Carter, a youth reminiscent of a young Rip whom the Duttons gave a home. Meanwhile, the outlet reports that Will Patton will now be a series regular. Will played Jamie Dutton's biological father last season and is described as a man with a murderous past who has told his son the way to wrest control of the ranch business is to kill the king. Number 7. A Prequel and Spin-Off? During the Super Bowl, Paramount Plus launched a teaser trailer announcing a spin-off prequel show, 1883, that will tell the story of the Dutton family in the late 19th century as they make their way westward to establish their Montana homestead. The show will star Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, and Sam Elliott. Paramount Plus has also announced that the show will be getting another spin-off, which is currently operating under the working title 6666. Along with the news of Yellowstone's debut date, MTV Entertainment Studios, the parent company for Paramount Network and Paramount Plus, announced that 1883 will premiere December 19, and a new show helmed by Sheridan, mayor of Kingstown, will premiere November 14. Number 6. Costner's Moral Compass Guiding the Story Costner's most popular film roles have exemplified a strong moral position. Dances with Wolves was about respecting the people who were here before us. JFK was about fighting for the truth. Whether you believe Oliver Stone had the truth is a different story. 
There was also Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Field of Dreams, even Man of Steel to name a few. He's an extremely gifted actor with a very strong presence and a moral compass that comes across in his acting, Sheridan said. In Yellowstone, Sheridan can craft a cautionary tale about what could happen if people like John Dutton are overwhelmed by developers, government, and other forces. Storytelling is a great way to examine issues and play out different consequences without the burden of those consequences being real, Sheridan said. So, it gives us an opportunity to look at events and go, hey, if this happened, what's the cost? What's the price? How does it affect people? It lets us learn. That's our purpose as storytellers. Number 5. Riley giving us strong female character goals? Beth may be the best choice to take over Yellowstone. If she's got the cutthroat attitude to fight the corporate world, she can learn roping and riding. Beth has no desire to own it or inherit it, but she'll help him save it, Riley said. Beth would probably be capable, but she lacks the love for the place right now. I feel like Beth is more of his general. She'll fight for him, she'll play dirty for him, her loyalty to him is what she's tethered to. For all the dysfunction in the Dutton family, one relationship that's strong is between John and Beth. I actually don't think her relationship with her father ever went astray, Riley said. Number 4. The son who wants it the most can't measure up. Jamie wants the ranch more than anyone else, but he's John's last choice. He also is not his dad's favorite, Bentley said. There may not be any love there from his dad. He's useful as the best he can provide is a useful son who knows the law, potentially a politician, thinks his dad hates but needs. From the boardroom and courtroom, Jamie pushes John to modernize the ranch, but that may be where the relationship frays. I think he challenges in a business sense, like, how can we make this business more modern, Bentley said. How can we progress from here? I think he tries to subtly influence his dad to help modernize the business in a sense. Jamie, I think, butts heads with his father about that. Number 3. The Chaos Takes a Toll on Family Business In Episode 3 of Yellowstone, Beth decides to take a bath in the horse's trough. I think they heated it up for me, but it was August, so it was pretty hot, so I probably didn't mind if it was cold, Riley said, about setting the scene in which Beth gets drunk to commemorate a tragedy. Incredibly emotional scene, she said. Beth is so intense in her emotions, the stuff that I was really interested in her was her pain. The trough scene also includes a major confrontation with Jamie. I think Jamie is angry at her about it, but also Jamie's got to work every day and he's got to work hard every day, Bentley said. Part of that struggle in that scene and why he's losing it on her is because she's taking up all of that space. A sort of kid in Jamie comes out that day, screaming at his sister to get out of the bath and to shape up. Number 2. The whole cast knows how to ride. Sheridan put all the actors through training. Even Costner, who has his own ranch, worked with his Yellowstone horse so they could perform together. Riley was a rider in England. I've ridden all my life, she said. That's a big passion of mine. Bentley even owned horses that even got some movie work themselves, but he gifted them a comfortable retirement. Number 1. How can we watch older seasons? If you're late to the game, you can rewatch past seasons to get to know the Duttons before season 4 starts. Even though 6666 and 1883, two of the new Yellowstone spin-off shows, will be available to stream on Paramount Plus later this year, you'll have to sign up for Peacock to keep up with the Duttons. Yellowstone isn't available on Hulu, Netflix, or Paramount Plus, confusing we know, but you can stream it exclusively on Peacock. Or alternatively, you can also buy each episode on iTunes, Amazon, YouTube, Google Play, or Vudu. With that, we end today's video. Don't forget to join in next time for more of such interesting content.